Yeah, I like it. This is just my little monitor so that I can see what I look like because I got a Fuji, so it doesn't really show me. But uh, guys, what's up? So I've looked everywhere on the internet for an accurate representation of the DJI Mavic Air, that FCE versus FCC mode. I think it's FCE. I'm on the FCE mode. I think it's FCE, guys. Please, if I say this wrong for the rest of the video, just forgive me. <laughs> and I've looked everywhere and I found a few things. Now that's an aeroplane. Well, those guys are on their way to Lens Syria, that's for sure. I've been driving around for almost an hour just looking for a nice place where I can sit and have an open view of the field. So where I can have direct line of sight for like 5Ks. Um, so yeah, I just want to test out what is the difference in the signal with FCE and FCC mode. As you can see, if I tap up here on the Wi-Fi icon thingy, it opens up and there you can see I've got 1 to 13. That means I'm on FCE mode as far as I understand it. So let's see how far we can get. Oh. Still maintaining line of sight. Starting to become really difficult to see it. And it's starting to disappear. Thousand two hundred meters, FCE mode. I'm really surprised. This drone's really quick. So I'm pushing it up, pushing it up. I know where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be right there, but like your eyes just can't see that little drone that far. So let's pull it up and let's push it. Like you can already see on the remote, it's not very usable as a camera. Well, that's still not a bad shot, but it's lagging like crazy. For Wi-Fi guys, this is ridiculous. <laughs> 1,600 meters. <laughs> These flies are so irritating. Cool. Disconnected. No signal. No signal. But turn on. Oh guys, cool. Go home. Go home. 1,700 meters on FCE mode. So as you can see, it needs to be like holding it up, having the direct signal. Cool. Now we're going to switch to FCC mode and give it a shot. Just going to be on the app quickly. Going to go to fake GPS. I'm gonna say start. It's gonna start in Arkansas. I'm gonna DJI. I'm gonna go to DJI. Wait for it to connect. So it's gonna ask me to change it. I'm gonna say okay. Right. Then I'm gonna exit everything. Turn off the remote. Go back into the fake GPS app. Stop it, exit it, go back into the DJI app, turn back on the remote, wait for it to connect. There you go, 1 to 11. Instead of 1 to 13, I'm now on 1 to 11. That means I'm on FCC mode. So let's check it out, guys. Yeah, oh, wind looks good. Oh, wind is hectic though. Okay, let's give it a precision takeoff this time because I want to know to come back here. First, take it up to 50 meters. Okay, sport mode and go. Same direction. Please give me the same direction, thank you. Okay, guys, so last time we got 
1.7 k's in total. Great, and we're pushing out. Still got really good responsiveness on the joystick, on the panning. How beautiful those clouds, eh? At 1.7 it disconnected me completely. I got the wreck line of sight with it, just so that you know. 1.7, fluid, beautiful. So to be at 2.5 is already ridiculous. Like, let's just be honest. 3Ks, stop, turn, 100% accuracy. Look at that, that is so smooth. <laughs> Extra payload detected. Oh right, I got extra wings on. No guys, this is ridiculous. So obviously, I mean look at this. I'm still panning, I'm doing everything. I can get my shot as beautifully as I want. I got 100% playback or feedback. This is stunning. And 3Ks. I mean, if, if you need to fly out 3Ks somewhere. So, because we've got some battery life, let's get some shots on the way back home. Okay, so it's confirmed, FCC mode, big difference. Cool, I'm very happy with this little drone. 3,000 meters. I just need to figure out how the camera works. <laughs> Look at this. This playback is so smooth. Woo, boys. So it just shows me really that I mean, the possibilities for this thing is ridiculous. I mean, I'm over there. <laughs>